grips from around this corner, you can tell whether they've got more front end grip or less. Like he's got not much front end grip yet. He hasn't started, he hasn't fired one, he's gone out. If you watch yours, the cart will turn into the corner better, but his back will drift a bit. And it was saying to me that we've got the pressure slightly too high on the back. Yeah, they were they were all pretty much in the train, but then you st once your tyres came on, I you went. just went like this and just went away. It was uh, it was good, but I'm not convinced that it's the setup right. No, neither. Because as you, you seem to have lots of front ends mm -hmm. turning in, but then the back's going all the time, yeah. especially through the what should we do? the middle bit. Well, let me just check the pressure see what they've gone up to. Yeah, the tyre pressures have gone from where we started at 15 pounds per square inch. They've gone all the way up to 17 pounds. They've gone up to two pounds per square inch, which when the tires are warm, less is more, if you like. Less pressure is, normally equals more grip. Depends on track temperature and air temperature, ambient temperature. But the general rule of thumb is if they've gone up two pounds, then you need to drop them two pounds for the next session. Right. And what you, I'm saying today, from experience, that the pressure should be around about 14 pounds a square inch. So, no, George, what do you reckon? How did you, how did that feel? It felt really good, but after about seven or seven or eight laps, the back end started to slide around on the rear. So that's why we're lowering yeah. the pressures. <laughs> Turn in, but he'll probably be on oversteer correcting the back the back sliding a bit. Okay. We'll see. But he's been held up slightly there on by this guy, so yeah.